Hey guys, today we're at Skinner Butte Park in Eugene, Oregon to take a look at a bit of a geological oddity. Most times you have to go to pretty remote places to find some cool geological features. And today we're at Skinner Butte Park to take a look at something I think is really neat. So uh, let's take a look at it. Pretty, uh, there's a uh, fall net here. Just, uh, we're gonna come over and take a look at this side because there's a whole bunch of people climbing. And I figured we should take a look at it on this side because we don't want to get in anybody's way. So I'm gonna pan up a bit. Now you can see this stuff forms in relatively even sort of columns, which is why they call it column basalt or columnar basalt. And let's take a look over this way toward the climbers. You can see it cut, forms in really big, tall columns. And it's, it's just basalt, but it's uh, the way that it flows and cools that uh, sort of gives this its unique shape. The theory is that it was a lava flow and then water ran over it and it cooled and fractured into these sort of forms. I'm gonna take a walk along this way. This is a popular area for climbers, so I'm trying to uh, stay out of people's way while they're climbing. We're gonna take a walk up to the top of this feature a little bit, and sort of have a look at a little bit of it. 
Yeah, we gotta come up a bit more. All right, it's a good uh, vantage point. The general uh, theory to this is that the lava flowed and at some point it stopped and formed like a dam and that would have went across the river, across the Willamette River on the far side of this hill and would have dammed up and the river would have eventually eroded it down. Seems like as likely a uh, explanation as any. But in any event, the, uh, the basalt forms in these large columns. And because Oregon is such an outdoor sport oriented state, folks come here to learn how to climb and do it safely because it's obviously not going to be a horribly perilous fall. But you see there's somebody up there getting ready to uh, rappel down, getting their ropes ready. But it's a pretty cool area if you're going to learn how to climb and get some instruction. And the view is really nice. So, let me see if I can't make that a little better for you. It's a nice view. That way is toward Portland. But anyway, just figured I'd come and share this little spot. Show you what column nerve basalt looks like. And I really wasn't expecting it to be this busy with people. Hoping to get up closer a little bit. But it's pretty cool. But it's a nice little outcrop and you don't get to see this too often. Sometimes it could be in, you know, like uh, there's a formation in California somewhere and there's another one in Ireland. The one in Ireland, almost everybody knows because it's been used in so many movies. But this formation here in Eugene has been popular for, well, ever since the city was founded. But in all, i try and get a, a nice view for you. So the basalt, can either form in straight columns or be kind of slanted like you see here or it could even zigzag it's pretty cool the way that that happens but you can see there's some folks getting ready to come down and rappel down so you can see how there's all kinds of people learning how to climb here and also practicing, refining their, their skills. There's a bunch of anchor points in this rock uh, so that people can tie off and, and do different types of climbing activities. You can see there's even a little guy climbing right there. Somebody's teaching the little one how to climb. There's somebody rappelling down. It's just good practice for when you're doing climbing in a, in a significantly steeper environment. But it's pretty cool. Well, time for us to go on to the next spot.